Hey YouTube, this is Gunhead73 making a quick uh, knife video and today looking at a Kershaw uh, shallot in Damascus steel and uh, I didn't do an unboxing on this, I just wasn't feeling it uh, I got it, what was it, the week on Christmas Eve it arrived actually so uh, it's a really nice knife and um, I carried it I was out of town last week, the week of the 28th to the 2nd and this is the knife I brought with me, and um, it was great. It's very thin overall. It's thinner than my paramilitary. It's thinner than the Sabenza closed. It's a very, it rides very well in your pocket due to that. It has a backspacer out of, I think it's made out of G10. Um, tip down or tip up clip, right hand side. I have it for tip up right now. And uh, the only thing with the tip down is that that much of the knife is showing, and it's sort of the wider part. But when you're in tip up, that much shows, and it's sort of narrower. So that's why I flipped it to tip up. Um, it has a frame lock, which is a good size, I'd say. Um, the lock bar cutout is pretty good. It's not too thin or thick. It's on the outside. And um, adjustable pivot, adjustable screws. It's flipper only, and it's assisted opening, and as you see, it comes out pretty fast. And um, this is the Damascus version of the knife. Kershaw makes a few knives in Damascus. They have, obviously, the shallot. They have the leak, um, the skyline, the barrage. A lot of their knives come in this, and I guess it might be a limited basis, I'm not sure. Um, it's really nice, though. It's, at, it's real Damascus, um, made by the company Alabama Damascus. And from my little bit of research I did, it's made out of 5160, 52100, and 203E. And uh, all together, after all the folding and whatnot, it has 416 layers. So it's good stuff. And with the 5160 and the 52100, those are non-stainless steels, so this will rust. And you can see I sort of have a coat of oil on there right now. And... Um, but, even though they're not stainless, they are very good at edge holding. This thing is great. Um, one thing I did with it, I was opening up a plastic, like a plastic thing of water bottles, just cutting through the plastic, and it's so sharp. I went through the plastic too far, and I hit the bottle cap on one of the knives. Not a knife, what am I saying? One of the bottles. I hit it kind of hard, and I looked at the edge, and it was fine. It didn't roll or anything. It's still razor sharp and very fast deployment like I said it has about a three and a half inch blade which is a good size it has a very nice design sort of narrower, sleek very fast looking it's a slight recurve good belly at the tip the handle is very ergonomic um, this deep finger guard thing right here is great for uh, your index it also keeps the lock engaged when you hold on to it very nice curves throughout very nice contour. Your thumb rests naturally on the little bit of a depression right there on the handle. The jimping is not very good, but the handle design is good enough so it makes up for that jimping. And I think the Damascus looks really cool too. You don't see too many knives with Damascus at the price that this shallot comes in at. And I don't know if you can tell, but it actually is a factory second. There are four X's right here. And the factory second version of this is about, this is it obviously, but it goes for 55 bucks, which is a steal in my opinion, for what you're getting. And uh, overall I think it's a great knife. I think it'd be great for EDC, because I, I did test it out in EDC purposes. I carried it for about a week, and uh, it's a great knife overall. I do recommend it, and I'll probably be carrying it more and more. And let's get some size comparisons here. We have the shallot. And uh, here's the Spyderco paramilitary. You can see the they're about the same length. The shallot's a bit longer, but the shallot has a bit more blade um, than the para. And I also have the Azula. Yeah, the Azula is a lot smaller, obviously, than the shallot. And I also have here the Chris Reeve small Sabenza. There we go. 
This is almost the size of what a medium Sabenza would be, being a three and a half inch blade. It's a really good size for EDC in my opinion. And uh, yeah, it's a great knife overall. That Damascus will be really good at edge holding. Just keep it oiled and you'll be fine. So that's my video there on the Kershaw Damascus Shallot. And if you have any more questions or anything, comments, leave them below and I'll answer them when I get a chance. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.